I've always loved the ocean. I got these diving goggles at a very young age and I started snorkeling. It was like this underwater world full of secrets and things to explore. For me, it's freedom and most kind of a spiritual experience. Once your face hits the water, it's like freezing cold. But as soon as I'm underwater, I'll forget the cold because I'm just so excited to see what's out there. The world should really care about our ocean's well-being because we fully depend on it, not only for food. It's important for biodiversity. It also affects our whole weather system. Seagrasses are a very little known coastal ecosystem. They provide these biodiversity hotspots, including a nursery for fish species. Seagrass meadows are rapidly being lost around the world due to a number of reasons, mostly human activities. Every part of the ocean matters because everything is connected. We're losing very productive coastal ecosystems, such as a healthy oyster reefs. The need for restoration is so urgent that we need to really speed up. I'm from a small island called Mauritius. I remember my childhood always going to the beach. It's part of the culture. I'm an island girl. For me, the world is one, and we should not just care about what's happening on land. The ocean also is so important. Unfortunately, with some of the human activities, we destroyed 80% of the global oyster reefs. It's becoming more and more difficult for nature to regenerate itself. We need to give nature a boost. Hello again. Long time now see you. Yeah, exactly. Oysters are filter feeders. They take in water, they get their food from it, and then release clear water. When it's clean, the light penetrates in, and this is when your sea grass and your seaweed can grow. Oyster larvae need to settle on a hard substrate to cement themselves so that they can develop their shell and continue growing. In the wild, they use the adult oysters as this hard substrate. Due to overfishing, we've been removing a lot of shells. So what is needed is artificial substrate. Cheap? and compatible with nature. For oyster heaven, the answer is clay. Making it using traditional brick making methods. When the oysters are a little bit stronger, then we deploy them in the ocean and then let nature take over. The mission of oyster heaven is to achieve a marine restoration in a sustainable way. Oh, there's still um, no water, but it's coming in. <laughs> so I was not only the weird kid that went diving, but I was also already at a young age, very interested in conservation. As long as we all have our waders on, it's fine. We'll just push it out. <laughs> oh, yeah. For this Brina partnership, we team up with Sea Rangers Service. Sea Rangers train young people in a field of marine conservation. The seagrass needs restoring because it's an extremely important coastal ecosystem. They sequester carbon like 35 times more efficiently than tropical rainforest. It's important for biodiversity and also coastal protection. What we're trying to do here is to restore seagrass in this area that has decreased by over 90%. So we have the sea rangers that help us with building capacity and train young people in this field. Today, and we're actually monitoring the seagrass that grows here. So we've planted cores with seagrass here, sods, and then we're measuring the shoots, so the amount of leaves that stick out of the sediment. We look at all the organisms that live in the sediment. There's a lot of things growing and living underneath. Are these flowering? Yeah, For me, collaboration is key and teaming up with other coastal restoration partners, but also partners like Prina is necessary for the real large scale stuff that we barely dare to dream of as scientists. As a business, we look at the impact in the areas where we operate. Hey. 
The ocean provides nutrition to many of us, including pets. It's not enough trying to source our ingredients responsibly. What we need to do now is restore the ecosystem from which they come. Like water that remains in the sediment. Yeah, so it's, it's a more accurate. We are focusing on key species that really help to restore marine habitat. Large scale efforts are really needed if we look at the size of the challenge. And having these partnerships, uh, Sea Ranger Service and Oyster Haven, can really help us advance marine restoration in an efficient and scalable manner. Our partnership with Purina helps us to scale our work. We need this in order to reach our goal, which is large-scale restoration of the oyster reefs. What I really like about the Purina partnership is that they don't only focus on seagrass restoration, but that they also have a bigger vision. And to think long-term, I think that is a very unique opportunity that we can really make a bigger impact in coastal restoration. We have here a wonderful opportunity to do something bigger than all of us, something that helps the earth and our ocean to thrive.